Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a comparison between a Jeffree Star lipstick that I ordered from Wish and a Jeffree Star lipstick that I have from Jeffree Star um, that was gifted to me. If you want to skip forward to my unboxing of the comic block, just look at the time below. I'll put it there for you and you can just skip on past this and get to the goodies. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. On Okay, I've been using Wish. And I ordered the Jeffree Star lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks, because I just wanted to see like what would come in and how I could compare it for you guys. And I also just got the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick gifted to me. So let's play a comparison, shall we? I have Androgyny. I have Androgyny in both from Wish and then from Jeffree. Let's see what happens, yeah? It's cool because like, it's all a dollar, I told my friends about it, they told me my lips were going to fall off, but you know, let's see what happens. Okay, so the box looks almost identical. Which one first? You guys can see it. <laughs> it's like packaged pretty similar. Anyways, the wand is super different, like a little like dull foot. It smells sweet, which is kind of like Jeffree Stars. Um, and then let's open a regular androgyny. Okay, like two totally different colors. Way, whoa! Two way different colors. Yet. This is the one from Wish. This is the one from Jeffree Star. Both of them claiming to be androgyny. Okay, well, this isn't going to be that hard to review then because it's like way different. And then Jeffree Star has that like C shape um, dole foot, which is amazing for application. But you know what? I'm here for you, so let's try out Wish first. If my lips fall off, it'll be for your entertainment purposes. Okay. This is really dark. Uh, the texture feels thicker. It doesn't really feel like it's setting. But I mean, it's a pretty color. Okay, let me see if this will set. Give me a second, okay? It's like... So sticky. Like, um... Like I have glue on my lips. Like... It's, it's gross. I still really like the color though, so, I don't know. The smell is also not so sweet now. After it's setting on my lips, it kind of tastes like, like old lipstick. I regret, I regret that. Okay, let's take this off and see what the other does. Let's try Jeffree Star's Androgyny. Let's see. I'm not really getting the smell. Mm. That already goes on so much better. Mm. The formula feels a million hundred times better than a million hundred times better than the other. Um, it's that like really super, like almost watery feeling on my lips where it's not heavy. I can already feel it setting. Let's give it a second. I'll be back. All right, 
it's been like I don't know like 20 seconds at most look at it's that sticky um color wise totally lighter it almost has more of a velvet finish right you can see that I'm freaking loving it though um so totally different from the one I got from wish was the one I got from wish horrible it wasn't I don't consider it a liquid lipstick that's gonna be long wearing or matte because it had a, like a gooey feeling that just stayed there um would I suggest it not for a dupe because it's way darker so all in all just if you want the color that's you're looking for the name brand that you're looking for it's you're gonna have to go with the name brand no matter what you order on wish I feel like um, packaging though like damn packaging looks the same like kudos China they got that but rather than that not so much all right, so now back to part two of this video, dos muchachos. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my comic block. So excited. Been waiting all day to open this and make this video. So, let's go. Um, so I have no patience and I had to email them and ask them when it was coming in because I was waiting which, in hindsight, I wasn't really waiting that long. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. Let's see, what's that? What does that say? What does that say? I can't see it, it's backwards. It says, what changes await our hero? Oh, that's cool, you call me a hero? Okay, you look. I can't see. How's it look? Ooh, it already looks cool. Shut up, there's a hat. So listen, let's bring it in. Um, I have a really poor memory. Um, I just do, I just always have. I'm working on it, but I forgot what this whole box was until I was literally driving home thinking about it, being like, man, I'm so excited for it. What's in it? I can't remember, I can't remember. And then I remembered, I know Suicide Squad was supposed to be in here. Suicide Squad was supposed to be in here. I did just see the movie and don't hate me, but I kind of liked it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was filmed like a comic book and I thought that was cool. Makeups are really cool. I was happy with that. Will Smith was like psh, amazing. Anyways, I digress. Let's open this box. So first that you see is this hat. Let's see here. So it's pretty cool. Um, it says Suicide Squad, and it has all the characters on the bottom here. It looks it looks almost like a Sin City knockoff filter. You guys know what I mean? Like that black and white, and the only thing that's highlighted is the red. But like, let's put this on. You know what I mean? I have a huge head. Huge. Sorry for sign. Okay, so it feels really high quality. This is stiff and nice. This feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. But yeah. Okay. Next. Sorry, that was exciting apparel. Um, I'm gonna do the shirt last. Because obviously, like I'm super excited about that. Whoa. I got three comic books. What? Is that three comic books? Okay, let me show you. So, I have a Harley Quinn comic book, and it's Batman tied up with bunny ears on. And then they gave us a first issue. Yeah, the first issue, Harley Quinn, which is exciting. It's the DC Universe Rebirth. Ooh. Okay, that's what all these are. DC Universe Rebirth. Okay. 
it's just like a portrait of her. How exciting. I'm like, I'm living. Okay, and the other one we got is the Nerd Block, Nerd Block exclusive comic. And that is the Suicide Squad. Let me show you a little bit closer. Doo -doo -doo. Suicide Squad, Nerd Block exclusive. And that's also the Rebirth. It looks dope. I love how all these characters are illustrated too. It looks beautiful. We have all the usual suspects here, like the advertisements. It tells you about the hat and everything you got inside. So it says, my Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad issue one. Let's see, that was the last one that I showed you. Okay, Suicide Squad issue one. You've seen them wreak havoc on the big screen. Now you can learn how the madness began in the Suicide Squad issue with an exclusive variant cover. Exciting. And Harley Quinn issues one and two which I love that they give you two issues it's amazing um, Harley Quinn is ready to start her new life without Mr. J oh my god see how she sets out to destroy the competition we even included two different covers for each issue which one did you get take a pic post it okay yeah so like you have the options of getting different ones I got what looks like the dopest ones because your options look they look a little bit more like like grungy on this side and these look more cartoony which I'm super stoked for these guys Ooh, and next month's comic block will be including a massive read about Wolverine guys <laughs> what final thing that I'm super excited about is the shirt and the shirt is our Marvel Galaxy wait oh Guardians of the Galaxy that was the other thing I knew it was Suicide Squad and something else so it is a shirt from them and I'm quite large so we do a what size do I do with them 3x and looks like that can you see it can you see it can you see it um, I can't see it, so I'm gonna look. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, like, goes through the characters. A little disappointing that Groot isn't. Okay, I can see it better on the screen, but, like, I wish it was a little bit more Groot. This. How crazy. Right? It is from our Marvel Universe. And it's a nerd block exclusive. So that's oh, I also get a coupon to uh, shirt punch too in there. But yeah, that was it for the nerd block. I'm so excited to read. I'm just gonna go read right now. I think that's a pretty good haul today. Um, I hope you guys are having a good one. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. And guys, just remember that. Nerdblock is $19.99 to subscribe uh, monthly. If you do it in chunks, it's cheaper. Um, but shipping to Hawaii, where, I, where I'm doing all this, is hell of expensive. It's like, I mean, for something that's $19.99, it's like $12 for shipping. So that part kind of sucks. But I mean, realistically, how much would it cost for me to get everything else individually from other places? More money. So it evens out in my head, but just a little side note for you guys, $19.99 for your subscription. Okay? <laughs>